from the original 1996 slasher film that revitalized the horror genre to the latest installment set to release soon, the Scream franchise has been a beloved and iconic part of horror movie history. With the upcoming release of Scream 6, fans are eagerly anticipating whether it'll live up to the hype and expectations set by its predecessors. Let's start off by taking a look at the history of the franchise. The Scream franchise has a rich and storied history, beginning with the release of the first movie in 1996. Directed by horror maestro Wes Craven and written by Kevin Williamson, the film was a game-changer for the horror genre. It blended humor, suspense, and bloody violence in a way that had never been seen before. The story revolves around a group of high school students, as they're stalked and killed by a masked killer using horror movie trivia to taunt his victims. One of the most appealing aspects of the franchise has been its self-awareness. The films have always been aware of the horror movie tropes they're playing with and have used that knowledge to subvert audience expectations. This has led to some truly shocking moments, like the reveal of the killer's identity in the first film, which was a game-changer for the genre. Another appeal of the franchise has been its iconic villain, Ghostface. The mask and black cloak have become synonymous with the horror genre and have inspired countless Halloween costumes and cosplay. The fact that the identity of the killer changes with each film has also added an element of mystery and suspense to the franchise. Finally, the Scream franchise has always had a talented and charismatic cast. From the original trio of Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox and David Arquette, to the newcomers in the later films, these stars have brought depth and nuance to their roles, making the audience care about the characters and invest in their fates. However, unfortunately, Craven, the visionary director, passed away back in 2015 due to brain cancer. He was a master of horror, having directed other classics such as A Nightmare on Elm Street and The Last House on the Left. Craven's influence on the horror genre cannot be overstated, and his impact on the Scream franchise in particular cannot be ignored. It was a critical and commercial success, spawning sequels, television series, and now even a sixth installment. Scream 6 pays tribute to Craven's legacy by honoring the rules he established in the original film while also updating them for a new generation. There's a relentlessness that is unique to this specific ghost face. The film retains all the self-awareness and clever writing that made the original so iconic. All the while, also incorporating new twists and turns to keep audiences on the edge of their seats. The filmmakers also stated that they're not trying to replicate Craven's work, but rather to honor his memory by continuing the story he helped create. Moving on though, let's see what early viewers have had to say. It feels like only yesterday we were graced with the fifth installment of the Scream franchise. Well, technically it was just last year, but who's keeping track of time these days anyway? And just when we thought we had enough time to catch our breath, the sixth installment's set to unleash its terror in just a matter of days. But wait, some lucky folks have already seen the movie and are sharing their thoughts on social media. Megan Navarro from Bloody Disgusting is so excited that she's urging fans to secure their tickets for the opening weekend now. According to her, the installment is a welcome addition to the franchise and she can't wait for audiences to experience it for themselves. On the other hand, Scott Menzel, founder of We Live Entertainment, was slightly more reserved in his review. While he admits that fans of last year's release will likely enjoy the film, he wasn't completely satisfied with the final product. Despite this, Menzel acknowledges that it'll likely perform well at the box office. But fear not, because Matt Rohrebeck from the Untitled Movie Podcast has nothing but high praise. According to Rohrebeck, it's one of the better entries in the series, with a perfect balance of horror and humor. To sum it up, the reviews may be mixed but are overall positive. Fans of the franchise will likely enjoy the flick, but even those who are new to the series will find themselves on the edge of their seats. But it's not just early screeners who have been talking about the flick, as even the stars of the film have been hyping it up. Actress Melissa Barrera, who plays Samantha Carpenter, has been teasing fans about the amount of blood and gore in the upcoming slasher sequel. According to Barrera, Scream 6 is going to be a hundred times gorier than any of the previous films in the franchise. 
which, to be fair, is saying something, considering how much blood has been spilled in those movies. She explained that the directors, Matt and Tyler, were always asking for more blood and sweat on set. Their motto was, more blood spritz, and they wanted to go all out for this film. While the last Scream tried to be respectful of the franchise's history, this film seemed to be unleashing its inner gore dreams, and it's going to be intense. But the gore isn't the only thing that's going to make Scream 6 a terrifying experience. Barrera also teased that the change of scenery will make it 20 times more mortifying than previous installments. Set in New York City, the film explores how people react to victims of the elusive killer, and the answer is, not very well. But hey, gotta see it to believe it, right? Speaking of stars, though, who else is starring in the flick? The news that Kirby, played by Hayden Panettiere, was set to return to the franchise had fans screaming for joy when it was confirmed last year. But hold on to your seats, because there's more. Courtney Cox is also back as Gail Weathers, Dewey's former flame and a legacy survivor who's appeared in every single Scream movie to date. Unfortunately, Nev Campbell won't be reprising her role as the iconic Sidney Prescott, which is a major bummer. Citing salary negotiations as the reason for her absence, claiming that she had to work extra hard in order to establish her value as a woman. But fear not, there are plenty of new faces joining the returning cast members. Barrera, Jasmine Savoy Brown, Mason Gooding, and Jenna Ortega are also set to return after surviving Ghostface's rampage in the recent reboot. Meanwhile, Samara Weaving also joins the franchise for the first time as the character Laura. But before I wrap this video up, how well will the film be able to stand out amongst the rest of the entries into the series? It's hard to say for sure if Scream 6 will stand out, as it ultimately depends on how well it is received by both fans and critics. However, based on all the early reviews, it seems like it has the potential to be a worthy addition to the franchise. Plus, many are excited about the return of some beloved characters as well as the new additions to the cast. The promise of even more blood and gore, along with a fresh take on the classic slasher formula, has also generated a lot of buzz. Of course, there are always going to be some who are hesitant about a new entry in a long-running franchise, especially when it comes to horror. However, Scream 6 seems to have a lot going for it, from its talented cast and crew to its commitment to honoring the legacy of Wes Craven. Ultimately, only time will determine its success. But based on what we know so far, there's a good chance that it will be a hit with both longtime fans and newcomers to the franchise alike. But hey, that's all there is to know about the slasher flick.